Hello, I'm Defragmentor, and I'm going to teach you to tie an amazing necktie knot. It's called the tulip knot. It looks very cool, and it's very easy to do. This is one of those knots that's tied with the thin end, so you're going to want to make that longer than the wide end. I've got the wide end positioned just above my belt buckle. That's where I want it to be when I'm finished. Take the wide end and pinch it here to make a little dimple. Now take both ends and cross them over. You want the thin end to be on top. Bring the thin end around the back and thread it up through this opening. Grab it from the top and pull it through, like this. With your right hand, thread it around the back and grab it with your left hand. Then bring it up like this and thread it down through this opening. Grab it from underneath and pull it through. And what you should end up with is this triangular looking knot. This is going to be the base of your knot, the foundation stone. What you need to do next is take the thin end in your right hand and wrap it around the front of the knot. Grab it with your other hand and bring it around the back and up, like this. Then drape it over the front and onto your right hand side. Next, thread it around the back. And keep this part nice and loose. You want to leave a little gap here. Because what we're going to do is thread the thin end through that gap. And notice here that I'm tightening it with both hands. That just helps you to keep everything nice and centered and where you want it to be. Now you don't want to make this too tight. Keep it nice and loose. And then hitch it up to your collar button. This excess material here can be tucked under your collar. That'll be nicely hidden away. And voila! The tulip knot. You're ready to steal the show. If you're into this sort of thing, you're going to love the video that's on screen right now. It's a guaranteed head turner. If you'd like to see how it's done, click and watch that video now, and I'll see you over there. Thank you so much for watching.